a once secretive oriental art, kicked its way into the United States, where it took on new names, new faces, new techniques, and new champions. Over four decades, its champions have combined deadly striking skills of black belt proportions, devastating kicks, and destructive punching skills. And now, profiling the greatest of these, PKA presents the greatest fighters of all time. Hi, I'm Joe Corley, your host for the greatest strikers of all time. Thanks for joining us. Now, starting with the first PKA World Championship on ABC's Wide World of Entertainment in 1974, many full-contact fighting disciplines have emerged in the United States. Before PKA full-contact karate was born that year, there was a little Muay Thai competition in the U.S., but the PKA was the first to introduce millions of fans to the sport that we would later know as kickboxing. Now, I've been proud to have been a competitor and later a broadcaster covering the sport. For the past dozen years, the new mixed martial arts phenomenon has emerged, and with it, a new generation of fans and fighters. A number of organizations have sprung up, and their fighters are going at it literally tooth and nail. The whole world of rules has changed in the process. A group known as Strikers has emerged. Now, in the vernacular of the MMA, if you punch and kick, you're a striker. Now, it's been apparent that their fans in the sport really enjoy those traditionally understood martial arts skills of kicking and punching. So as a fight fan, you'll marvel at the precision, the power, the devastation that these PKA heavyweight champions bring to the real martial arts ring. They're all black belts with black belt full contact kickboxing skills. They have world-class boxing skills to complement their black belt kicking. And as black belts in these PKA rules, they do not kick each other in the shins, the knees, the thighs, or the hips. They have to demonstrate their prowess with their kicks by throwing all eight kicks per round above their opponent's waist. It has to be a sincere effort to land with power or the judges don't count them. These rules force action. They demand conditioning. And such kicks put the kicker throwing them at risk. So in this volume one of the greatest heavyweights of all time, you'll see five of my all-time favorite heavyweights. Bad Brad Hefton, Kerry Super Kicks Roop, Dennis the Terminator Alexio, Jerry Rome, and Ross the Hammer Scott. In the first match that follows, we'll see a young Jerry Rome challenge the more experienced and sturdier Ross Scott in Atlanta's Omni. That'll be followed by Brad Hefton in a title defense in Rockford, Illinois, against Kerry Roop. Now, Roop had just defeated the legendary Joe Lewis for the U.S. heavyweight crown. Then Brad Hefton meets the French kickboxing champion Philippe Coudelat, and Dennis Alexio faces Dick the Destroyer Kimber in Montreal. Then we'll see Rome back in action again in Atlanta's Omni as he completes his return to the ring to face Bad Brad Hefton. It's for the World Heavyweight Championship. Now this is action any fight fan dreams about. It's nonstop, it's hard hitting, it's world class. Now can you guess how many of these fights end in knockouts? I'll see you back here for a wrap up right after these five fights. Enjoy.